Hi again. So today we're going to look at how hackers are injecting code on a web page. I took liberty to install an application called BWAP. It's a intentionally made vulnerable application, and <clears throat> the bug I chose here is called um, <clears throat> PHP code injection. And at the moment, the security level is set to low. Basically, this vulnerable application reflects a new junior developers project which is full of bugs. So what happens if you can inject code and well reflect code in a certain way or inject code to a server? How can you misuse that? So let's assume that you want a page right now. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the page PHP code injection. We're gonna hack it and we set the security to current low and then here we see this is the page. We're gonna hack this now. So this is just a test page reflecting back your message. So I'm clicking this, it says test. I'm looking up in the get URL uh, area on the browser, <clears throat> it says test. So if I wrote something like uh, hacker hello, it will just uh, write nothing it seems. If I skip the, uh, the space, it does kinda, you know, output it. So it seems that there is some weird thing going on here with this message and whenever I see this you know in PHP code I see the code from my eyes I see code running down like this code so what happens when the server intercept this variable called message with this value so this is code injection you know typically you just see but but can I then do something like echo uh, hello and, and do something like that typically that is not the way you do it also just you know writing raw code like that, typically you need to do some sort of function. Um, something that gives you some sort of output. Let me see. Is there a, a web page called php.net? There is. This is the official uh, documentation of php.net. Now, some very simple function that, that gives me some entity output that takes an argument. I think there is something called lean, string lean maybe. Yeah, there is. So this is a command, You it, it returns an integer, you give it a string. So if I go up to the top here and say, what if I do something like string lean, the word hello, where I get something back, look at this. I got the number five. Basically it means that it is interpreting this command on the back end from the client side. This is horrible. So I'm getting number five. I got code execution, so there's a uh, <clears throat> there's a um, function called system on PHP, uh, well in the PHP language, and this is executing external program and display the output. So system is a command where it says a system, it gives me a string as output which is perfect, and I can put any command inside. So let's go ahead and do system, and then let's do something like uh, ls, and what I'm seeing here right now is a bunch of files. This is all the files that I have in, well, this directory it seems. This is a part of the insecure application, so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna destroy anything, but what I could do now is to go in a terminal window and say, I'm gonna start a netcat. I'm gonna start a netcat listener on port 5555, and basically what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and say, I'm gonna run netcat. I'm gonna connect to my own IP address, which is, I forgot, so let's do sudo if config conf, please write the things, fingers, there you go. This is uh, my IP address on my own machine, so I'm just gonna copy that and put that in. This is local IP, of course, so it doesn't matter, it's not, uh, it's not on the uh, internet anyway, so I'm gonna execute. A bin and I'm saying gonna bash and if I do that there's a slight chance that it will uh, forgot the port number that it will connect to my own um, reverse listener and let's see execute this it's thinking good science and the other window is uh, I got some sort of command so I have a shell in the box. So I can write ID, I am dot 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 data, and now I could start like sudo dash L and so on. 
it seems like I don't have access to that right now. Anyways, we got a shell in the box, you know, I'm halfway there, almost ready to do stuff, let's see, yeah. I'm I'm the uh, dot dot data, so now I can get stuff like, I could go into, yeah, whatever fire there is here that looks interesting. Let's just see, uh, where was it? It's a config file to get passwords to the database. You know, uh, there's an admin folder, you know, stuff like that. So having that set, I'm just gonna um, close the connection. Not to uh, hack myself, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to show that with this kind of flaw, you can have yourself hacked really easy. So I think the best idea for you right now is to go ahead and remember, this is input. Whenever you have some input, you need to sanitize it and you need to verify it. And is it this? Is this input what you suspect? I mean, I mean uh, is this input what you hope it is? Like, is it a string or is it raw commands? There are different kind of libraries you can use or methods in PHP that can help mitigate your way out of this. Of course, there's nothing wrong having a variable. This is meant to be. Just need to check the input and verify it in order to make sure you're not getting hacked by any sort of code injection. This is how the hacker would do it. Basically just going to a web page, you know, executing something, you have a shell in the box. It took me while I talk, let's say just uh, for the sake of it, uh, six minutes and 31 seconds, which the video is right now. And that's about the time it takes for a hacker to hack a web page, if you have this vulnerability. Stay safe. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, like it and comment below if you have any questions. Bye.